Hey everyone, Timothy Sunday here. Um, just on the road this weekend uh, doing a, a D-Now youth retreat. Um, a lot of people have been asking about our gear, um, kind of how I run things with loops and tracks and um, just how all of that works. Um, got a lot of technology on the stage working for us and so I thought I'd make a quick video just to run through the setup. Um, all the gear that we're using, some of the endorsements that we have and we're really grateful for, um, and just a quick kind of walkthrough of how everything works. So um, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I'll just show you kind of how things are working um, on stage. So we have my setup here, um, pretty simple. We've got some pedals, which I'll go over, mic, iPad, and then my wife, Lori, is set up right here. Um, and then at my feet is our whole rack um, set up. Uh, our sound system that we travel with is the Bose um, Model 2, L2 Model 2 speaker array um, with the B2 bass unit. Just tremendously easy setup. Absolutely love this. Um, roll in, have sound running in 10 to 15 minutes. It's awesome. Uh, I've got for our mixer running everything is the Bose T1 Tone Match. Um, so let's go down to the rack first, kind of trace all the hardware lines and then we'll get into software and everything. Um, guitar is running in, the, uh, this is a Breedlove guitar. Super grateful for their endorsement. Um, incredible tone in this instrument fantastic um, as well as a G7 capo big shout out to those guys it's great to be able to throw your capo on and not have to retune every time um, amazing amazing stuff so guitar uh, goes in to the Korg uh, tuner and both of our Shure microphones um, they go into our rack unit our rack unit a little messy back here right now but uh, consists of a couple things First of all is a blanking plate here. This is where everything comes in. So we have inputs for my microphones, um, mine and my wife's, and my guitar. Um, and an extra, just in case. Then this is a Firewire pass-through, um, which I'll talk about in just a second, going to our interface. These are our stereo outputs. Um, when I go back to the house and work in the studio, I can use uh, plug right into those into the monitors um, and then this is uh, our main power that powers everything just into um, a power connector there. Down here we have two rack mount DI's. I've got all these velcros so it kind of keeps it tidier so you can't see it but um, two four channel rack DI's. These are coming out of our interface um, so if we're running through our Bose system we just come out of each one of these directly in to the T1. If we're running into a place where the sound system is a little bigger, the room's larger, um, we just have five, X, we only require five XLR cables from um, wherever the venue is. They plug right into this and it outputs my, guitar, my vocal, my wife's vocal, my guitar, and stereo tracks left and right here. Around the front side of the rack, we have um, first of all, a uh, Furman power conditioner up top keeps all of the energy really clean, keeps things down and nice. Below that, um, the Focusrite Sapphire Pro 40. A huge shout out to the endorsement from Focusrite for this. Um, this thing powers everything that we do. Um, every one of the inputs from the guitars to the vocals um, on that blanking plate on the back, go into this unit. Um, and then they're processed via a Firewire cable to the MacBook, which I'll show you in a second, uh, and then outputted back out into those DIs. So everything runs through the Firewire interface. Um, we also have a router here, um, keeping a couple things in sync, which we'll talk about, and a drawer just for some gaff tape and storage and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, over here, uh, we have Looptimus pedal. This is from loopcommunity.com. Um, just an incredible resource, that website. Um, we've learned so much from them. 
And this is the pedal that is a MIDI controller, it goes into my Mac, um, and I use it at my feet to trigger, trigger off my loops um, and go seamlessly between sets. On our iPads, um, I'm running an app called OnSong. Uh, it just has all of my, my entire music, sheet music right there. Um, and my wife uses Pro Presenter Stage Display. Um, and so her lyrics come up right here, so she has a confidence monitor. Um, we're both using in-ears, also run from the Sapphire Pro 40. Um, we don't have wireless, but they're all just uh, wired over here. But our in-ears from 1964 ears. Um, big shout out to those guys and their endorsement as well. You cannot beat the quality um, of these in-ears. We could not do what we do without it. Um, just super tremendously grateful for those. Um, and then over to the MacBook. This is where everything is happening. Um, so this is Ableton Live. Uh, it has all of my songs in it. I organize them in sets, um, but this is also a master library. So throughout this whole file, starting here, I have all the songs that we would ever use, just about. Um, and then I have my sets organized up here for right now. Um, so here's how things work. Um, basically all the in and outs of each of these channels, these are all um, just huge multi-track files. So every one of these scenes um, fires off a sequence of tons of different tracks. All the keys here, of course, click and cues, um, stack, if we, if we use it, we usually just use it in our ears, not in the house, but um, just like background vocals and stuff. Loops and drum tracks, um, and then all the guitars, electric guitars, basses. Um, then I have this little guy right here. This is a Pro Presenter MIDI cue file. And so um, basically I have Ableton sending out MIDI notes um, down here and Pro Presenter is listening for them. And so I have it all programmed so that um, Whatever I fire a song, it finds that song in the Pro Presenter library, uh, goes to that song, and then file, fires off the right slide at the right time. I want to give a huge shout out to Christian Ponsford. I'm going to give him um, a shout out in the description below as well. Um, he has an incredible resource on how to set all of this up, um, including even the loop rig that I've built here. Just hugely inspired by that guy and what he does, and so um, I want to give credit to him. Even um, this whole Ableton file is a template that I purchased from his blog um, and then customized it to make it, make it kind of work for my, my own self. Um, then the last track here is an on song firing. It's the same kind of deal. Um, I have a Bluetooth network right now created between my MacBook and my on song app on my iPad. They're connected by Bluetooth. Um, and it sends out, you can see, iPad 4 Bluetooth. This track, again, MIDI notes sending over to OnSong, and I have OnSong listening for certain MIDI notes. It pulls up the right chord chart for me when I fire a track, as well as scrolls through pages when I need it to. So once we start a set, the only thing I have to do is fire things from my feet, and I don't ever have to touch anything else. Um, the wireless network is set up for my wife's iPad, and uh, ProPresenter stage display. A couple of the softwares that we're running here. Um, first of all, obviously Ableton Live, the workhorse behind all of this. Um, ProPresenter 5, which has our lyrics. Um, Sapphire Mix Control, this is controlling all of the mixes. So um, I have Mix 5, which is the stereo left and right out to the house for our tracks, so I can mix tracks. But this is also our in-ears, and so this is uh, Lori's mix and my mix, so all of our in-ears running stereo um, out from this incredible software. This is fantastic. Um, also, we have the Audio MIDI setup, which is basically um, the IAC network running inside of IAC drivers, basically like internal MIDI cables for MacBooks. That's what ProPresenter is listening for MIDI cues from Ableton on, um, and then we have the network, which is what uh, Lori's 
iPad is set up to and the Bluetooth, which is my iPad. Um, all of that running. And then lastly, I'm running multi-rack from Waves. Um, I have just a couple things in this. Basically, our vocals come into this, um, our two vocal mics, and they run through this side chain compressor, um, EQ, all that good stuff. I've been playing around with some effects in this. It's been really, really nice. It's worked um, really well. I've been able to keep the CPU usage down, and so um, I haven't noticed any lag or anything. It's been um, really seamless. Um, and then just a couple of automator things. So basically, I can when we set up, I can just push this one button. It launches everything in the right order. It loads all of my files for me. Um, just one touch setup, and then the close as well. So that, that's super helpful. Again, shout out to Christian Ponsford for that idea. So let me show you how things work. Um, basically, uh, got our sound here. I'm just gonna unmute the track for now so you see what's happening. I'm gonna hit uh, one on the Looptimus. It's gonna fire um, our first song on the set from Ableton. It's gonna auto dial in Pro Presenter um, for the lyrics on the screen. It's gonna pull up the right chart on my on song, I'm just going to go ahead and get off of that so you can see what that it actually will pull up the right chart. And it's going to fire lyrics over there for Lori. So, real quick, here we go. One starts counting off. So, we're playing alive. Just turn that down for a second so we can hear. And see it pulled up alive here. The screen behind us. change appropriately as well. So slide change here. You can see on the Pro Presenter stage display app, it's got the next slide coming up and the current slide here and it's going to switch. Yeah, so that's, that's everything. Stop real quick there and then just to show again if I go to my next song we hit number two it's gonna be this is amazing grace and it's gonna slide over to the right chart cleared the screen behind me yeah and uh, I won't show you but it also auto scrolls through the set as it as it needs to um, as, through the sheet music on the set. Um, so yeah, that's that's how everything's working. Super seamless for us. Um, all of this packs down pretty pretty tightly. Um, we put all of our cables and our uh, pedals and basically everything that doesn't go on the rack inside of this Groove Gear Stadium bag. Um, just another shout out to them for an incredible endorsement um, by these guys. Very organized with shelf space. Um, everything that you need laptop iPads everything goes in here so thank you guys for that so yeah that's the setup um, I do a lot of programming up front but once that's finished then we can go into any venue um, I can just rearrange the order of my set in Ableton I know all my shorts charts are gonna be there I know the lyrics are gonna be right um, we can even jump around in arrangements but I didn't show today um, in choruses and verses and things and so um, it really allows me to be more focused on leading worship um, and less focused about all the tech that's happening. When we travel, we don't usually have a sound person or a video person. So having all of this done up front just lets me focus on how God is moving that day um, and how I can be sensitive to his spirit. So I hope it's really helpful to you, all of this. Uh, maybe it inspires you to use technology a little bit in worship um, in your situation. Um, I think it's really helpful, and uh, hopefully this has been a blessing to you guys. Again, huge shout out to Christian Ponsford um, for all that he's done to help me understand that. Um, I'll put a link to his blog in the comments below for all those resources. Um, also check out loopcommunity.com, um, where a lot of our tracks come from if I don't make them myself. Um, and yeah, if you have questions about anything, just shoot me an email or you can comment below. I'd love to help you guys out. So hope you all have a great day and be blessed. Thanks.